Hello multi malt mates of Mount Mina. I'm Ralphie, welcome to Bothy, welcome to Ralphie Review 923 Extras. And thank you to the Brown Water Boys for that malt mention. Uh, this is an Extras attached to a rum review. I don't do rum reviews very often because I'm primarily a single malt scotch whisky reviewer but every now and again I need to have a alternative for my own sanity because things are pretty turbulent in the scotch whisky in the world at the moment uh, with very variable bottlings and people increasingly antagonised by some of the disingenuous flannelous can I call it bullshit? Well, all right, let's give it its opinion, it's an opinion. Bullshit that's coming out from some sectors, some distilleries in the whisky industry. Uh, and one fine example is a recent um, production of a non-fungible token. Ooh, Ralphie, what's a non-fungible token? Well, basically, it's a little eye Ponzi scam. That's what a non-fungible token is, an eye Internet, E, or an E, Ponzi scam. I don't think I have to explain that. But people are getting suckered into it because unfortunately a lot of people out there may be into electronics and think they're all clued up and contemporary, but they also happen to be a bit thick. But it can be helped, it's just real life, so who am I to judge? But in the meantime, to preserve my sanity from some of the disingenuous crap that is masquerading as marketing from some high profile distilleries, which I will go into some detail in my Patreon only video shortly. And yes, my Patreon pals will have to put on the seat belts because I am going to be ranting. I'm going to be really ranting. And our beg's ears are going to be burning. But there you go. It's for Patreon subscribers only. But in the meantime, let's just kick on back to rum. Um, I know what some of you are thinking. Hey Ralphie, the high-end rums are really, really expensive. We're watching them getting really high prices at auction. They're getting as manipulated and as coveted as the fancy high-end collectible investment grade whiskies these days. And you know, you're right. And there's certain Italian companies really pumping it uh, to really get the prices up for the so-called best of the best and good luck to them they're just looking after business however I have to say I am not one of the customers I'm looking for value I'm looking for value in my rums and when I find value I want to share it with you and um, I've just recently reviewed Beanley Beanley 2015 Australian cask strength rum, 59%. It's the real deal. It's the proper stuff. But I'm very much aware I was able to buy a bottle, but shortly after I bought a bottle, it kind of disappeared from the shops. Funny that. Strange how these things happen. Perhaps it's just another permutation of the Ralphie effect. Who knows? But in the meantime, there are... Here's a rum. I'm going to introduce a rum to you. If you're a whiskey drinker who's on a budget, now you're going to be paying for it, but you're going to get the value as well. And it is a hidden permutation of Four Square Distillery in Barbados. Barbados produces very, very, very good rum. It's complex, it's spiky, spicy, it's nuanced, it's subtle, and it's really good quality. And at least three of the four distilleries in Barbados do a good job of this. I think there's one distillery just doesn't want to play the game. But so sad, too bad, bad, never mind, moving on. That's rum politics for you. Um, but this is the real McCoy 12 year old. It's a limited edition rum and it's limited edition because it's been partly matured in ex Madeira casks. Now, for those of you who are Ralphie regulars, you will know I am a sucker for a Madeira cask. I really am. Whether it's whiskey, whether it's rum or whether it's anything else, it 
tends to work with a Madeira cask. So um, let's put this one out of the way. That's my previous rum that I've reviewed. I'm going to pour a little bit of glass, bit a little glass of this, just a little tot. Uh, and I'm going to introduce the real McCoy as a viable, worth looking at, better value alternative to the more high-end designer um, rums that are being put out there as high-end collectibles. The real McCoy. Where's my steampunker? I need my steampunker so as I can actually... I've got my reading glasses on, but I still need my steampunker so I can actually read this stuff. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Legendary rum runner, the real McCoy. His name was Mr McCoy and he got a reputation as having the real McCoy because he refused to adulterate and cut up his imported rum from the Caribbean into Florida, into the United States during Prohibition. So if it was the real McCoy, it was good quality, uncut, undiluted, uncontaminated liquor. During Prohibition, many liquors were heavily contaminated. That's why they used to sweeten them up and colour them up and use fancy glasses and make fancy cocktails. That's the story of cocktails. The dark history of it. Right, single blended from Portuguese Madeira and American Bourbon barrel aged rum. Aged 12 years. Small batch crafted with a unique balance of copper column stills and pot stills. So like the previous review, the Beanley Australian rum, it's a basically a blend of styles. You've got the column still, which gives a more refined spirit, and then you've got the pot still, which gives a heavier spirit. Mm -hmm. And they blend them together to get the best of both still properties. It's been bottled at 46%. Not 40%, not 40, 46%. This makes this an integrity rum. There's more. This is batch number 2016. So I've actually got a batch, clear batch reference, which isn't some tiny little minuscule number code that's been blasted onto the glass that you're supposed to ignore and hopefully not see. From Four Square, Square Distillery, it's St. Philip Barbados. Anything else? Yes. The 2016 Madeira Cask Edition is a singular small batch of only 500 cases. So now you're getting some point of reference as to how small or large the batch actually is. Now it doesn't say where the cases are of 6 bottles or 12 bottles, but generally it's 6 bottles. So you're looking at about 3,000 bottles, in my opinion. This 92 proof single blend drum is crafted with a high ratio of copper pot still distillate and aged for 12 full years because some, re some rum distillers, they just say, oh, 12 years, but that's the oldest rum in the blend. Do you know what I mean? Jiggery pokery. But this is making it clear 12 full years in both American bourbon and Portuguese Madeira barrels, with no added sugar, flavour, or artificial colour. Right? Can I repeat that? Can I repeat that? Because let's face it. Many single malt Scotch whiskies have, in fact, added sugar. If it's a PX cask, super sweet sherry, it's added sugar, isn't it? Tell me I'm wrong. Flavour, cask finishes, or added flavours. Tell me I'm wrong. Or artificial colour. E158. The industry claims it's natural colour, but it's produced in a lab, it's produced in an industrial site and through a chemical process. What's natural about that? It says get natural colour in it. 
and it's coming from an authentic and reputable distillery, so I see no reason to challenge it. What I'm really saying here is, for goodness sake, break your whiskey habit and try something else. You're going to be surprised, pleasantly surprised. This is the genuine article, the real McCoy. right -o. Consume considerately and find us on www.realmccoyrum.com The flavour notes are saying matured fine balance hints of toasted walnut, a little bit. Tropical fruit and sweet oak, yeah, and smooth warm finish, yeah, I'll go with that too. The thing is, there's rums out there getting better and better, and unfortunately some single malts are, they're increasingly, they're letting us down. Um, and I, I see it in my comments, I'm not making this up, Pat, malt mates. I'm not plucking this out of thin air. Time and time and time as I sift through the comments that you leave, I see small, to the point statements registering people's disappointment that they've bought out and gone out and bought a bottle of single malt whiskey that they bought a few years ago and it's just not the same anymore. And they don't mean it's better, they mean it's worse. And that is, and I can confirm this, because it is worse. It's the quality of the casks. See with rum, they're much nearer to the casks. Rum when it matures, it is not sensitive to poor quality casks in the same way that malted barley spirit is. Rum distillers have much more control over their wood policy than many Scotch whisky distillers do who are stuck and trapped with the options of casks available to them at this moment in time. Rum distillers, can they use in a staves? Yeah, of course they can. Not a problem, not a problem at all. Makes perfect sense, because they work. They really work. So what do you get here? The nose, excellent. Spicy, rich, typical, classic, Beijing four square distillery. Without the massive premium tag. It's a three year old, five year old, 10 year old, 12 year old, 14 year old. There's a great range of this and they're all good. Check the reviews. Go on, I dare you. Bottle at 46%. Flavours coming through. Sweet, dry, balanced, complex. Warming, good aftertaste, a little bit of oak, a little bit of soft American oak, decent quality too, no harshness to it, no harshness at all. This is a solid cask polishing going on at this distillery because they're getting it right and the whiskey, the rums are out there, I was going to say whiskies, the, the rums are out there, there's plenty of permutations of it and see when you start diversifying into alternatives, you will greatly enrich your understanding of whiskey when you come back to whiskey. You will explore further afield, mezcals, armagnacs, not the 40% bottled um, cognacs, I'm talking armagnacs, single cask armagnacs, you'll find them at Caden Heads. There you are, giving you the knowledge, giving you the knowledge. And then you'll get to the grappas. Not the tourist trap grappas that you find in bottle shops in Rome. No, the real grappas. The grappas, when you taste it as a seasoned old whiskey hack like me, you genuinely get a wave of excitement at the originality, the authenticity, and the sheer quality of craftsmanship that has gone in to make a good grappa. But can I review grappas for you? No, because nobody will watch the videos. You're just not there yet. But reach out. 
Connect with the force. Reach out and the force will come to you. Fortune favours the brave and the adventurers and the travellers with whatever you're travelling with you will find great diversity and beauty beyond the familiar. Don't stick with the familiar, go exploring. I'm Ralphie and I commend this message. See you soon. Bye bye.